For this quick lesson, we're going to cover how the new volumetric cloud system is enabled and where exactly you can find the different variables or sliders to make the clouds maybe change altitude or turbulence or even animating them to have a vector direction such as wind carrying them across the level. So what we need to do is we need to go to the console and we're going to type in volumetric and we can see that r underscore volumetric clouds is there. Let's set that to 1, which is a true value. Press enter, and we can immediately see that volumetric clouds are in the level. And if we were to come up top, we would be able to go in the clouds. So now that they're activated, we may want to change the altitude as said. So if I go to Tools, Environment Editor, we can bring this in. Let's dock it to the right. Scoot it out just a little bit move just a little bit more. Okay, so we're able to animate, say, the time, but if we go down, we can actually animate the cloudiness, the altitude, or even the thickness. So all of these have direct properties that will adjust in real time. So if I drop the altitude, you can see that the clouds raise and they lower. So we change the thickness, or the cloudiness in general, we'll be able to actually see more clouds. And you can see how realistic it is, and especially considering that it all runs at real time. So I said you could do the edge turbulence and adjusting in that regard, and then also down here we can do the wind influence. So now the clouds are animating over the sky. So this is just a quick video showcasing that the volume, volumetric cloud system is in CryEngine 5. It runs extremely well, and as you can see, with just a few sliders, you're able to adjust it and make it not only more cloudy, the altitude goes down, and then you have more clouds at the base. And you can also, as shown right here on the screen, animate it so you can have oscillating clouds that go across your terrain.